Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Look, look, look. She's doing the exit. <laughs> Everything. I need, I need to, I need to build my alliance with my family here. <laughs> if you guys don't know who she is, I heard her name circulating these streets and these notary streets for at least a year. And I finally got to meet her at Dawn's notary business lock-in. Um, and she was just spitting so much fire, you guys. I mean, like, you know, when somebody spits so much fire, like you don't even turn it off. Like, even if you got something to do, you're going to continue to listen to them, even though you don't have a pen and paper in front. This is this is what she was doing. She was like, look, at, at some point, I just have to let some of this absorb in my mind. And she was spitting so much heat out. I reached out to Dawn and said, Dawn, who the fuck is she? Get me in contact with her. And we, <laughs> we, we connected. And we've been family since. Like, like we cling. She don't even know you, you guys. We cling now. Like, it is. It is what it is. We, we gang gang together now. You gang gang. <laughs> so I just wanted to give my sister, my Latina sister, a warm introduction. Please help me welcome She Boss. Woo! Woo! And we also have a, a very special guest host today by my brother out in the bay tekamaku brooklyn still in the house nigga ah, west coast west coast <laughs> in case yeah. you guys didn't know there's gonna be a lot of cursing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> hey it's sunday what are you talking about <laughs> so we live baby we live on uh youtube Let, let's get it cracking let's go hey well welcome to the notary war room as you all may have known that I am a special guest host for today. And if you don't know who this person is that is being interviewed today or who we have a, the, the delight of and the pleasure of speaking with, it is She Boss Mobile, Grizel <laughs> Marte. And she is our uh, esteemed guest today. If you guys don't know, and first, let me just start by saying this. I've been, I'm actually, I'm delighted and I have the, the pleasure of talking to her today. And I don't know if she knows this, but I've been a big fan of hers for a while. I followed her and uh, she's always popping up on my timeline and I see her nonstop. So she, you can't help but to be um, attracted to that smile and her energy. So it is a great honor to have the chance to talk to her and you know hear some of the heat that she is uh, bringing to our notary community. But if you guys don't know anything about her, she is a ex, uh, an expert loan signing agent. She is a phenomenal entrepreneur. She's a mother, and she is a a, uh, a powerful force in, within the business uh, industry and business community. But if I could allow you to introduce yourself, introduce yourself to the family. Let us know who you are, and uh, give us a little bit of background of who 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 is uh, Grizel, also oh. known as She Boss. So you said it, my name is Griselle, but everyone in these streets know me as She Boss or She Boss Mobile. That is my brand. That is my brand on purpose. Um, I am an entrepreneur. I am a first generation entrepreneur. So I'm learning as I go. I'm learning from my peers. I'm learning from those I, you know, purposely put myself around. Damn, you gonna put my business up in there? <laughs> I wasn't ready That's for how that. we do. That's how it is. <laughs> I am all about multiple streams of income, trying it, seeing if it works. Um, I am a mom, so I I you know set the example. So my son has gumball machines, he's an entrepreneur. Um, yes, I'm all about woman empowerment as well. So, you know, you guys, you guys get a lot of love, maybe not in the notary community because it's a lot of females, but, um, I'm all about woman empowerment and we all about, you know, just collaborating, um, motivating each other and there's no competition on this side. It's okay. all love. Absolutely. One of the things that is a big, you mentioned this too, just a second ago about the notary community. And also there is a heavy presence of women that just, I mean, it really dominates <laughs> this particular industry. For what reason why, I can't tell you, 
but I'm sure that uh, somebody else has the answer. I'm not going to try to figure that out. But when you got into this industry and that's something that you recognize, recognize, first, how did you get into this industry? And then when did that become sort of, um, how did that come onto your radar that, wow, this is something that's heavily dominated by women and how how will i sort of navigate this industry how did you get into this industry and then how did you sort of navigate your way around and finding your place gotcha so i am a pandemic notary so you know i was working throughout the whole pandemic um i was working at a ship's uh a shipping location i'm just gonna say out there. i was working at fedex office okay <laughs> so with fedex office i was managing the location um what the company did, unfortunately, they let go more than half the staff of the whole the whole company. So it was just me and one other person in this store. Um, and people are coming in, they're shipping goods, they, you know, they're trying to do their business still, but from home. So we were trying to help them. Um, so in this field, I'm here working the counter, and I keep seeing ladies run in with shipping documents and the more I noticed that you know this the same stereotype they would dress well I thought they were realtors they were not um they'll come in they had to take pictures of their receipt take pictures of the package and no don't touch my it was just like whoa what is what are these documents why you know the the secret like what what what's this um this one particular person she used to come in with her daughter all the time at that time, my son was doing home from, you know, school, but at home and same situation with her, but she was able to bring her daughter along with her to these signings that I found out later. Um, and she was just having a car and her laptop pretty much. So she's doing this while my son's calling my store, needing help to get back on Zoom. And because grandma's not helping him, my, my mom said, look, look. He's here, he's safe, he's fed. Like, I'm not helping him with no electronics. I'm not helping him with schoolwork. I got my own thing going on. So I'm struggling trying to balance both, right? We're in a pandemic. I'm trying to stay safe. I'm trying to still help him with his school stuff. And then I'm seeing these people, these females coming in, taking out these machines, which now I know it's mobile scanners, setting up basically making FedEx their office. And I'm like, who, like, what, what do you do? Like, what is going on? Tell me more. So I was nosy and it's the, it's the New York in me. Like I'm very observant. Like I want to know what you're doing, what you're up to, what, why I can't touch this package? <laughs> like, like what's going on? So I learned that these females coming in, they were notaries, but they weren't just notaries. They were loan signing agents. Mm -hmm. Um, I've needed a notaries in the past, right? I went to UPS or I went to my bank and I didn't think it was nothing big. UPS, I think they charged me like $10. My bank was free. So I'm like, what money are these people making? Because now I'm talking to them, right? I'm getting, I'm asking them open-ended questions pretty much. I'm trying to get more information out of them. And they're telling me they left their jobs. They're telling me right now, this is the time to become a signing agent. So I started looking up what is a signing agent? Do I need some type of degree? What's going on? And before they knew I was, you know, I was interested because I would just ask questions. They were showing me how much money they made. They showed me the apps they were on, companies they were signed up with. Um, I noticed the labels were always going back to a title office. So I was already, you know, taking down notes. I'm like, okay. So I'm going to need a mobile scanner because that's what she had. You're going to need to dress like this. You're going to need to take pictures of your receipt. You know, I'm just like just taking down notes. And in between customers, I'm looking up information, how to be a notary. I'm looking at YouTube. I'm looking at, um, I went on Instagram and found a couple of notaries I started following. And then um, this guy named Mark Wills, he kept popping up, but he was like a salesy person. I was like, this might be fake. Like, I'm just like, but let me see what this is about. And people kept tagging him and saying, oh, he's going to help you make six figures. But then I started following Sophia Martin on um, YouTube. 
And Sophia Martin took notary to notary uh, from Vanessa, her training. So I'm like, okay, let me see. I didn't know there were so many different types of training. I didn't know there were so many different types of like just options out there or this many people that did this. So me following Sophia Martin. <laughs>